Notre Dame 28, BYU 20. And let's, I mean, let's pull it up. Let's pull up the stats. Let's see what's looking. Uh, Holy South said, yep, Tulane is a good team, uh, to be frank, in their, or to be fair, in their own way. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I, I know Tulane's a good team. I just, I didn't think they were as good as Kansas State. Uh, Notre Dame beat BYU 28-20. to Now, this one was in Las Vegas. They won yardage 496 to 280. They won yards per play 6.8 to 6.1. They did run 73 plays to only 46 for BYU. Third downs 69% to 33%, rushing 234 to 160. They won drive points 23 to 14. Turnovers were equal, 1 to 1. BYU was helped by a cheap 26 yard touchdown drive. Notre Dame should have done more with almost 500 yards. I saw this, and the second quarter is what lost BYU this football game. They they gave up 15 points in that quarter. It was, um, I bet on BYU. And the reason that I bet on BYU is exactly what you saw from guys like Epps, uh, what you saw from, you know, some of these explosive plays that they had with Brooks and uh, Katoa, et cetera. You had a 28-yard run. You had a 48-yard uh Reception or no, sorry, a 53 yard reception, you know, stuff like that that they could break off against that defense for Notre Dame. Early in this game, Jaron Hall looked not right. And and by that, I mean there was it, something looked off with him. I was not expecting him to kind of wilt in the light of such a big primetime game. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily what he did, but I wonder if he's all the way healthy right now. It, it, he was only 9 of 17 passing for 120 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Uh, they only had one receiver that caught more than one pass, which is just mind-blowing. Uh, Puka Nakua had one, what, one target, I think? No, one drop. Uh, he got three targets, one drop, had no receptions. Didn't expect that. Uh, Epps had four receptions on six targets. And then Gunnar Romney, Rex, Hill, Katoa, and Cosper all had one reception each. Nine receptions in this game. You didn't utilize one thing against this secondary that I thought would be a pretty decent advantage. It just went nuts. Holy South said Hall didn't trust his O-line. That's kind of what it looked like. It looked like he had happy feet, especially early. But, like... There had not been anything in that game to show you that you shouldn't trust them. So I wonder if this is just something that's been building based on maybe what happened against Utah State last week, etc. I thought that BYU had overlooked the past however many teams. It makes me wonder about BYU next week in Provo against Arkansas for sure. And is Notre Dame like okay now? Are they good? Do we do we think Notre Dame's good? I, I, I haven't decided yet. Uh, that that team is that team is interesting, uh, to say the least. I mean, Drew Pine looks pretty good. Like, is is the BYU defense just terrible, or uh, see, I I just I don't know. I just don't know because I, I thought okay, Drew Pine does this against North Carolina. That's one thing. They do it against. BYU, it's something else, right? And I, I don't think the BYU defense is terrible. Uh, but, man, this was, you know, again, you're looking at the screen. This is at uh, gameonpaper.com. Uh, green is good. Purple is bad. Notre Dame got a lot of green. Just a, a success rate, 53%. That's a 92nd percentile. Um, at the, I mean, the EPA per play was 70th percentile. I mean, it's just that Notre Dame kind of dominated this game now, it didn't show it on the scoreboard. Uh, this game, by the way, late, late, late in the game, BYU had fourth and one at the Notre Dame 27 and really had a chance to go in and score and go for a two-point conversion to tie this thing up at the end and could not get that one yard. I mean, how how insane is this? Uh, Holy South said Notre Dame could go eight and four. They're better than we think after the Marshall game. Yeah, Marshall is not a bad team either. Uh, I wonder... If, if maybe they've got the right quarterback in there now and the Lions are actually playing the way that they're supposed to. Like, everybody talks about these regime changes like, like it's no big deal. Yeah, even though these guys were all on the same staff last year, it, that's still a massive deal. 
right? Like, that's a huge, huge situation to bring in a new head coach after however many, you know, over a decade with uh, with Kelly being there. So just something to pay attention to with this team because they, they look pretty good. I, I still think that USC is probably better than them, but at the same time, I wouldn't rule it out. I wouldn't rule out Notre Dame winning out at this point. I don't think there's anybody left on their schedule that they can't beat. So definitely interesting. Definitely interesting. Uh, Holy South said, so Ohio State's win looks better. <laughs> I don't know JJ said that. Uh, yeah, it, it does look better now. It absolutely looks better now. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.